welcome. Uh, now I want to really show you the uh, walkthrough of the Pro Z75. So let's start with the paper feeding units. So here you see we have two paper drawers. And let me open up just one of them. And you see it's perfectly designed to hold the big B2 sheet size uh, in place. Actually, we have in this uh, the configuration here, we have two drawers. We can extend it with an additional two drawers. And we can also include a pellet feed unit uh, next to it. Once the paper is being fed in the, in the system, it goes in here and it goes into the registration unit. The registration unit makes sure the paper is tilted and rightly corrected, so it is perfectly timed when it enters the, uh, the, the printing system. And behind the registration unit, you see the ink station. Within the ink station, you see we have two places for cartridges of each color, so you can continuously print and change the, the colors while, while printing. So the machine is constantly up. And here you see the imaging unit. And since we're currently printing, I'm unable to open the doors due to safety reasons. But as you can see here, the paper comes in in the bottom. It goes up, there's a big drum inside of it where the paper is being vacuum feed or vacuum sucked to the drum. And then we print with the four colors here. We print the image on the paper. We're actually using Rico Printec technology, which has been adjust adjusted really for the Pro-Z75. So it's water-cooled print heads printing at 1200 dpi. The printing speed is quite amazing. We print at 4500 B2 sheets an hour, and they are perfectly uh, aligned and perfected in the printing system. Once it is being printed, it goes out, and it goes in what you see here, the drying stations. So as you can see, we have three drying stations, which you could say is quite a lot. But in order to put a lot of ink on paper, it needs to be dried. And actually, if we talk about ink, it's newly Rico-developed ink, which means it's highly pigmented and we don't need to use a lot of ink on paper, which saves you cost, but also energy consumption to get it dry. After the drying, we go to the cooling station, and in the cooling station, it has time to just cool down a little bit, and then it goes into the duplexing station. If we want to print duplex, it goes underneath the printer again, into the imaging unit, and there we print the second side. So this system is able to produce duplex, uh, B2 sheets at 4,500 B2 sheets per hour. And if you duplex it, of course, the speed is reduced by half. If the printing is ready, it goes here into the stacker. So it's the, the, the high, the, the, the pellet feed stacker. So the, the pellet goes down, and once it's finished, you can put the, the, get the pellet out. If you have high productivity, we can even put a second stacker next to it, so you can continuously keep producing. We also have the ability to print, print on the, uh, the top exit, and as you can see here, it really produces very nice B2 sheets with a very high image quality. And this was the walkthrough. Thank you very much.